So we, I, I want to bring up Memphis and Mississippi State. Let's move on to that one. Memphis and State. Memphis wins 31-29, to and good gracious. All right, so first we get, it was an SEC officiating crew, and they put out a statement afterwards. If you watch this game at all, at, or if you're just on social media, I'm sure that you saw the punt you return seen it. because it looked like it was downed. The referee signaled that the play was dead. There was no whistle blown. He just signaled the play dead. Like, he put his hand over his head and, and whatever, and they said it was an inadvertent signal, which is just ridiculous. But an inadvertent signal is a signal, though, right? Like, an inadvertent yes. whistle stops the play. Yes. I'm sorry I did it, but it still happened. You you see all of the state players stop because the ref puts his hands yeah. over his head, and and Calvin Austin, the third, comes up, grabs this ball, and runs it 95 yards. Like, it, it was... It was downed. It it looked the guy had the ball, placed it down, had his knees on the ground, and then even, stands up. And, and even if it wasn't really down, as soon as the official gives the call that's down, you can't because what would have happened had a state player knocked that guy's ass off? That guy would have been ejected from the football game, and yeah. he would have been ejected from next week's game against LSU. So the post game win expectancy here was Memphis seventy three percent, right? Which is, and, and I know some people don't like these stats, but still. Hey, and by the way, anybody that wants to keep jumping in the chat, absolutely. Larry Pilgrim jumped in, said, "Love Chris's take on uh, architect." Casey said he had Oklahoma State in that game, and and Larry wants to talk about Utah here in a minute, and, and we will, we will. But in this game, it, here's here's the numbers. State had 419 yards passing, only 49 yards rushing. Memphis had 159 yards passing and 87 yards rushing. Memphis's offense could not do anything. They scored one touchdown off of a fumble return for a touchdown in the first quarter, and then they scored that punt return, which the other part of that punt return was they had two guys on the field wearing the same number, which is a penalty. So you take the ball where it was and move it back five yards beyond the fact that the ball was down. So <laughs> so either way, and there are state fans that are salty and man, but they, and they rightfully should be. Yes. They rightfully should be. Yes, a hundred percent. And I don't know that that would have changed the outcome of the game because no, Memphis was up. Like your team, your team played poorly. It's just an extra little kick in the ass that you just didn't deserve. Yes, yes, agreed. Uh, Seth Hennigan, the freshman quarterback for Memphis, sixteen out of twenty-eight, one hundred fifty-nine yards, two touchdowns, one pick. He has played really well. He wasn't supposed to be the starter. So yeah. he he's played well. I didn't I didn't, th- I didn't think he I didn't think he played great in some big moments, but but he did he did enough to to get the ball down the field. Okay. Yeah. I I, I think I think he did a, I think he did so as well. So I this game was just overall strange. Very strange. And Memphis has got uh, UT San Antonio coming up. And UT San Antonio it's be a hell of a football game. Yes, is sir. that game that game's at Memphis? Yes, it's at the Liberty Bowl. At the Liberty Bowl, I'm I'm intrigued because I don't know what to expect. I don't know how good UTSA is yet. I think they're pretty good. I think they're yeah. I think they're really good. I'm I'm just curious. They haven't faced an offense like this yet. Matt Miller jumps in. Arkansas is going to beat A and M this week. <laughs> Brown Yeti said, "When have you ever been able to give a penalty on a review?" Yeah, that that was another one, and I cannot remember exactly what play it was, but they they reviewed. It was the onside kick. So they they ruled that it had not been there had not been illegal touching of the ball. However. Yeah. They said that, and this is at State had scored and, and needed to, you know, get the onside kick to come back down the field, whatever. Memphis ended up getting the onside kick the second time and it kicked a field goal, which gave us the final margin, right? But that's right. The the penalty of like illegal block on an onside kick that they saw in the review, I did not know that you could do that. I still don't know that you can do that, and yet they did it. I was so, gonna say I still don't know that you can do that. It, it's really insane. It's yeah. Matt Miller said it was the onside kick. They called an illegal block. Yeah. Well, I mean, so. we started this thing off talking about how bad the officiating is, and it's bad. There, yes. there are games where I think they're bad, and they're all one sided. And there are times where I think they're bad, and it's just because they're incompetent. This game really did look like a bunch of people that didn't know what they were doing. Agreed. Like, they they had no business being employed in doing this job. 
Memphis is uh, six and zero against the spread in their last six as a uh, home underdog. They have won seventeen straight at the Liberty Bowl. I might I might have been wrong about Ryan Silverfield. Like I, uh, I, I ain't gonna know. Let's 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 not counter chickens. I, I, I'm not yet. I'm just I'm just putting it out there in the ethos that I may this have been was wrong. An, this was an ugly bullshit of a game. I ain't giving nobody yes. a coaching credit at all. Okay, I, I will and tell you this: they you were in the game, game. You lose this game. I am, I'm not. You're not getting credit for this win. I thought State was going to win this by two touchdowns, and and they were in the well, game. At one point in time, I did. Yeah, during the middle of the game. So, yeah, it's, it's we got to the fourth quarter. I didn't believe that. Yeah, okay, I can I can get with that. Matt Miller said they pulled some guys from the parking lot and gave them shirts. <laughs> Talk about the referees. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Uh, he said Mississippi State is 2-0-1 in my book because the last six minutes are compromised. Yeah, <laughs> I can get with that. I can get with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.